Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This time we're going to present 5 animal recommendations about Kingdom. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for our latest videos. Check this out. Number 5 is Kingdom. Kingdom is an anime adaptation from manga of the same name made by Yasuhi Sahara. The first season of this anime aired from June 2012 to February 2013, with a total had 38 episodes. And the second season aired from June 2013 to March 2014, with a total had 39 episodes. Kingdom takes place in the Kingdom of Kin. Li Shin, a war orphaned slave, transfigures with fellow slave and best friend Piao, who shares his proud dream of one day becoming a great general of the heavens. However, the two are suddenly forced to part ways when Piao is recruited to work in the royal palace by a retainer of the king. After a first Kujeta unfolds, Piao returns to Xin, half dead, with a mission that will lead him to meeting with China's young king Ying Zhang, who bears a striking resemblance to Piao. Kingdom follows Xin as he takes his first steps into the great but soaked pages of China's history. He must carve his own path to glory on his long quest to become a great general of the historic seven warring states. Kingdom presents a war theme to Alma that in the China's warring states period. In the anime, we'll see Sin struggle to become the great general of the heavens with his friend, the king of Qin Kingdom, Ying Zhang. His ambition is to be able to unite China. In the anime, we'll see various brutal and intense action scenes that will be presented each time a war occurs. The battles that occur in the anime are not like anime in general, which usually looks simple, because in the anime, we'll see wars that feel massive brutal and full of strategy camps in it. Every success of the war in the Zen Med depends not only on how strong the main character is in and the other soldiers are, but also relies a lot on managing the strategy and morale of the soldiers. The characters in the Zen Med have unique personalities and different abilities. Even so, in the Zen Med, we will feel the development of the characters that occur, especially in the main character. We will see the development of Zen, which initially only relied on his physical ability when fighting. Then, as the story progressed, he began to be able to use various strategies and he even finally able to lead his troops really well on the battlefield. The fizzles presented at first didn't look too good, especially because of the excessive use of CG animation in the first season. But after the second season, smooth 2D animations were more widely used, although occasionally it's still using CG animation for massive battle scenes. Overall, if you like War them to anime that's full of strategy games and intense action scenes, then this anime is perfect for you to watch. Number 4 is Akatsuki no Yuno. Akatsuki no Yuno is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name by Mizuho Kusanagi. The anime aired from October 2014 to March 2015, with a total had 24 episodes. Akatsuki no Yuna tells a story about Yuna, a princess who lives a life of luxury and ease, completely sheltered from the problems of the seemingly peaceful kingdom of Koka. However, the sudden murder of the king and betrayal of her beloved cousin Siwon places Yuna's life in mortal peril. Forced to escape only with Sun Hawk, who is both her childhood friend and bodyguard, the knife princess soon discovers that Koka is in the idyllic place she envisioned it to be. Poverty, strife, and corruption run rampant making reclaiming the throne nothing more than a wishful fantasy given the kingdom's current state. Akatsuki no Yuna presents a soju anime with kingdom setting that can be interesting but not only struggling on the side of romance, but also from the adventure element and political conflicts that exist. In the anime, we will see the struggle of Princess Yona with her bodyguard Sun Hawk in her efforts to taking back kingdom of Koka from her cousin Suwon and his troops. With the conflicts of romance, adventure, and politics, the story in the anime will always make you curious in each episode. The characters are able to clearly describe the background and nature of each. The development of all characters also looks very good, especially Yuna as the main character who starts as a spoiled princess living well in the palace to become a woman who is strong, brave, and more concerned with problems around her. The visuals look good, the character design is well met following the design of the manga precisely. Overall, if you're looking for an unusual soju anime, then this anime might be suitable for you to watch. Number 3 is Arslan Sanki. Arslan Sanki is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name by Yoshiki Tanaka and Hiromu Arakawa. The first season of this anime aired from April 2015 to September 2015, with total had 25 episodes. And the second season aired from July 2016 to August 2016, with total had 8 episodes. Arslan Senki takes place in the year 320, 
Under the rule of belligerent King Andrew Goras III, the Kingdom of Paris is at war with a neighboring empire, Lusitania. Far different from his father in many aspects, Arslan, the young prince, sets out to prove his valor on the battlefield for the very first time. However, when the king is betrayed by one of his most trusted officials, the Persian army is decimated and the capital city of Ectabana is sieged. With the army in shambles and the Lusitanians out of for his head, Arslan is forced to go on the run. With a respective general by his side, Darien, Arslan soon sets off on a journey in search of allies that will help him take back his home. However, the enemies that the prince faces are far from limited to just those occupying his kingdom. Armies of other kingdoms stand ready to conquer Ectabana. Moreover, the mastermind behind Lusitania's victory, an enigmatic man hiding behind a silver mask, poses a dangerous threat to Arslan and his company as he possesses a secret that could jeopardize Arslan's right to succession. With the odds stacked against him, Arslan must find the strength and courage to overcome the obstacles and allies who will help him fight in the journey that will help prepare him for the day he becomes king. Arslan Zanki is an action-adventure anime that places in an alternative version of the Middle East. In the anime, we will see the struggle of Prince Arslan in recapturing his kingdom, Kingdom of Paris, which was taken over by the Lusitania. In his journey, he gathered various allies that could help him defeat various enemies. With this exciting adventure theme, the action elements are also no less interesting. We'll be shown various scenes of intense battles and actions. Even so, the battles that exist in the Zeme do not just rely solely on physical, because we'll also see how in each battle there always use a variety of strategies that play a major role. The characters in the Zeme have universalities and have different fighting abilities, which makes the adventures seem exciting to follow. The visuals presented look good, especially in various battle scenes that occur even though sometimes there are parts that look bad, like scenes that uses CGI animation. Overall, Arslan Zenki is a fun adventure anime. If you like adventure anime set in the Middle East, then this anime is suitable for you to watch. Number 2 is Akagami no Shira Yukihime. Akagami no Shira Yukihime is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name by Sarato Akizuki. The first season of the anime aired from July 2015 to September 2015, and the second season aired from January 2016 to March 2016, with each season had out 12 episodes. Akagami no Shirayuki Hime tells the story about Shirayuki, who is a cheerful red-haired girl living in the country of Tanbaru, who works diligently as an apothecary at her herbal shop. Her life changes drastically when she is noticed by the silly prince of Tanbaru, Prince Raji, who then tries to force her to become his concubine. Unwilling to give up her freedom, Shirayuki cuts her long red hair and escapes into the forest, where she is rescued from Raji by Zen Vistolia the second prince of a neighboring country and his two aides. Hoping to repay her dad at the tree of Sumdi, Shurayuki sets her sights on pursuing a career as a court herbalist in Zen's country, Clarinus. Akagami no Shurayuki Hime presents a drama and Roman genre anime with kingdom setting. However, the story of the Zenma is not about love dramas. In the Zenma, we can see a picture of the toughness of a girl named Shurayuki, how she was so brave and unyielding despite the circumstances so difficult. Seeing the personality of Shurayuki, the Zenma seems to give a picture of the Snow Princess in contrast to the Snow Princess we know. Character development in the Zenma feels so good. It can be seen from Shurayuki and Zen, who experienced a lot of character development in their first season. Here we'll see Shurayuki's toughness and Zen's childish side. The combination of the two, in my opinion, is quite funny when we realize that the two are a couple. I think the visuals of the Zenma are so neat. Starting from the character design and the background image of the city of Time Barrel itself, that's beautifully depicted. Overall, this anime is one of the best romance anime that should not be missed, especially if you are fans of romance and drama anime. Number 1 is Nanatsu no Taisai. Nanatsu no Taisai is an anime adaptation from manga with same name made by Nakaba Suzuki. The first season of the anime art from October 2014 to March 2015, with total had 24 episodes. The second season aired from January 2018 to June 2018, with a little hat on the four episodes. And the third season is currently airing the aired from October 2019 until now, with 24 episodes. There is also a movie that premiered in August 2018. Nanatsu no Taizai tells a story about the seven deadly sins, a group of evil knights who conspired to overthrow the Kingdom of Britannia. 
not said to have been eradicated by the Holy Knights, although some claim that they used to live. Ten years later, the Holy Knights have staged a coup d'etat and captured the king, becoming the new tyrannical rulers of the kingdom. Elizabeth, the king's third daughter, sets on a journey to find the seven deadly sins and to enlist their help in taking back the kingdom. Nana Suno Taisai provides an action and adventure anime that's quite interesting and unique because it presents several elements from European fairy tale. In the anime, we'll see the adventures of many adults and Elizabeth in looking for other Nana Suno Taisai members and taking back Kingdom of Lioness from the Holy Knight, while facing various obstacles and anime that encounter during their adventures. Even though the anime itself is full of action, the anime also includes some comedy elements in it that will make the audience laugh out loud. For the characters in the anime, each of them has a unique personality. Besides that, the character development and background of each character are also well explained, so that the story presented is more interesting and the audience becomes more familiar with each character. The visuals presented are quite good, the various action scenes that are displayed are able to be animated well, and the character designs are also able to follow the designs of the original manga really well. Overall, if you like adventure anime like Meijoy or Fairy Tale but with European Kingdom setting, then you will also like this anime. That's all for the anime recommendation about Kingdom that we can present this time. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time, guys.